Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Sagittarius and Taurus, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. All your support, guys. Please keep telling the stories because I'm finding patterns. We all see the patterns. So please, please keep telling your stories. We're going to get right into it, guys. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. Like, share, subscribe, please. All right, because I had the wand over there. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. Please, Sagittarius, give me your energy in this relationship with Taurus. I have to look and see. Oh, what was this again? Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius, give me your energy, please, right now in this relationship. So what I'm showing so far says something about passion here. You guys are looking for a new beginning in the situation. It's something that you want, that you're very passionate about. I feel like it's something that makes you feel happy. It's, it feels like it's something that makes you able to relax, take a breath of fresh air, happiness. Fires up my soul, passion, passion ignited. I didn't even get to that part. That's funny. <laughs> All right, that's cool. All right, now challenge we have the fourth chakra here now for some of you guys the fourth chakra let me just define what it is it's associated with love generosity compassion and forgiveness some of you guys are passionately trying to forgive something and move on I want to move towards a passion my passion has been ignited I want to have this sense of love generosity compassion I want to move in forgiveness but I have to move on from some situation in order for this to happen what happened was some passion, right? Because we, we see that there's some kind of conflict here. It equates to a five. For some of you guys, you have to move away from some situation that's going to bring you to your destiny, which is going to be a 10. So there's going to be some cycles that are going to end. There are some things that are being completed or you're going to completion, completed. But this is also about renewal. This could be renewal with oneself. I'm going to shuffle these because right at the bottom, it was emotional loss. It makes sense, right? Because you have to move on from something. In order for you to get to your destiny, you have to move on. But there's an emotional loss here, but there's spiritual strength. I mean, I could go on and on. Along with that, there's temptation. All right, but I'm going to leave it there. Spiritual strength. So it shows us where you are. There's something with spirituality here. There's something for some of you guys where you are trying to find some kind of stability. I believe emotional stability. I need emotional stability. I'm having some conflict. I want to feel whole, happy. I want to move on. It's not that I want. I have to move on from this situation. I don't know if that's. I, I don't know what year these. Is that a key to a car or whatever he got in his hand or whatever. Anyway. There's something that needs to be completed. Something that could have come full circle. Right? Shadow down here, self. I'm... But it is emotional loss involved with moving on. You guys are facing some kind of conflict. Now, with this, there's something about damages. Emotional loss is emotional damage, right? But it's something that you can prepare from, and I feel like you guys are on a spiritual journey to get it done. You guys have some kind of realization or something like that that I don't know if this was about you not... I don't want to say loving yourself enough... Not being able to give enough. I feel like for some of you guys, you had this unforgiving type of thing. I don't forgive you. And now I feel like some of you guys might actually need forgiveness. And you're starting to understand what forgiveness is. You know, what, what people have been asking you for. Now you're asking for it, right? So you guys have some kind of spiritual strength or something like that. I'm showing that conflict comes up twice here. That's damages, conflicts, and unknown loss. So some of you guys, this loss could be sudden. Some of you guys could have been having so much <laughs> good luck, if you will, or some of you guys have been having such great luck to see the luck actually change. It, it's like it blows your mind. It's devastating. 
in shock. I can't believe this happened. Show me Taurus, please, in this read with Sagittarius. What is Taurus up to right now? Show me the energy, please. Dealing with the shadow side. Some of you guys, in order for you to get to the new beginning, you have to deal with the stuff that is right in front of you. You can't get past yourself. You have to deal with it. If you truly want to move on from a situation, you got to look yourself in the eyes, right? Just like on the shows, they got the devil on one hand. I guess that would be the dark side. And then they got the angel on the other one. Trust me, they're all costumes. The point is, you have to look yourself in the eyes and you have to deal with the situation if you want to get to a new beginning. You guys are natural leaders. There's something about you working independently. As a matter of fact, it does show that you guys are very driven people, ambitious. You want to get to the top. You want to be on top. You're a visionary. You're dealing with your shadow side at the moment. I do see that you guys are trying to manifest something, but it says wisdom. Dealing with my shadow side. Wisdom, I know I need to in order for me to move forward. However, I am having some mental conflicts and finding uh, balance in the situation. It says shadow side, mental conflict, my shadow, mental conflict. This has to do with maybe a relationship or something like that. A partnership. Whether or not a partnership is actually flowing. I'm moving in wisdom, mental conflict. What's the conflict? You know what's funny? It does come up here too. I don't think it comes up. Oh, I think I get it. Give me one more, please. Okay, that fell. No. Like, I don't know how many of them fell, but whatever. Let's see. That was like the crappiest. Um. <laughs> All right, now we have emotional withdrawal. So we have one that's got emotional loss, and they wound up having to turn to spirituality because it looks like there was a last resort for them because they're asking for forgiveness when they weren't forgiven before. To others. Emotional withdrawal, moving away from a situation. I want to be solo. I want to move away. I feel like there's something about you guys. Look, you guys are out there. Praying too with this mental, woo, everybody been turned, huh? Let's see. Balance. Now, emotional withdrawal so I can gain some kind of balance in this relationship. 11. Your intentions are manifesting quickly. Balance. Foundation and achievement. Some of you guys feel, Taurus, I'm going to say some of you guys feel under, a, I don't want, I don't want to say under, you feel like there's, Underachievement? Is that a real word? I don't feel like I've achieved what I want to. I haven't reached my goals. I don't have the firm foundation that I want. But it says that you want what you want and you're intolerant. It says that your attitude is inflexible. And for some of you guys, you lack structure, stability. And this is why you're at a standstill. It's almost like it's you. But I mean, right? So we have that energy here. Let me just take a look. An attempt to move in wisdom, having to do with a partnership, manifesting something that you want. Intentions are being put out, but there's no movement. So you might have thoughts in your head. There's a difference between thoughts and intention. It really is. But I do see that the common thing, even though... I, different journeys. I feel like, I feel like Taurus may have uh, gotten broken down first. If I look at the energy here, I'm going to say Taurus got broke down first and then it followed up to Sag. Sag caught it after, whatever that's about. Let's get into the read and I'll reference these if I need to and I'm going to pull them off. Once I get through with the cards, I'll give you the other thing. Sagittarius, let's take a look at you. We have the moon that comes out reverse for you guys. This is self-delusion. There's something about you having a skewed perception of reality and you're facing some sort of a moral crisis. This is a moral crisis. So it's something that has gotten so bad that I don't agree with it. Like it's so blatant, I don't agree with it. For me, it's a moral crisis. This is something that is making me feel uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable. It is, it, it, it's uncomfortable. I don't feel, I don't like how I feel about this. So what the cards are saying here is that you guys have allowed the pressures of the outside world to really throw you out of balance. So there's imbalance here, which is why you resulted to spiritual strength. Things got too hot for you. Very, very crowded. 
I feel like for some of you guys, you had to disconnect in order to gain balance. But there was something that you needed to address here, which is why you have the moon reversed. Now, if it were upright, unseen problems, voluntary change. These are problems that you did not see, and I did not volunteer to change. I do not want to change. As a matter of fact, there's something that you know you need to address, but the cards say you have a failure of nerve. The cards say that you are over-dependent on a mentor, an older mentor maybe. Failure of nerve, over-dependence on a mentor does not specify age. It says over-dependence on mentor. It says because you're over-dependent on a mentor, you actually show or express that you doubt yourself. It looks like because you ignored something or failed to address something, I feel like for some of you guys, your world's yep, turned upside down. Now, I also want to hear it will say that you guys seem like you're not open to change, right? And I feel like this is where the breakdown comes. I'm resistant to change with the moon reverse is something I don't want to address. I have the world reversed. Some of you guys could be accused of a cyber crime. Some of you guys have been stalking, looking, something like that. You understand that there's some need for separation in this relationship with your Taurus. I need to separate from you. The cards are saying that you're not open to change. You're not open to being successful in whatever you're supposed to be doing. There's no celebrations. It does mention that you guys have... I don't want to say that. I feel like some of you guys are challenged, right? Because who's got the shadow thing? I think the shadow's over here. There's something coming up from your past that you don't know about. Some of you guys don't know. Some of you guys are shook, hoping it don't come out or whatever. But for, there's something coming out here. That's what it's saying. It says there's something coming out from the past. And something about some choices that you made in the past is going to turn your world upside down because it becomes, it becomes evident. It comes to light, if that makes any sense. So for some of you guys, you have not faced the past and now you have to. We also have the Six of Pentacles. All right, so let's take a look at this. This gives us a couple of scenarios here. It says that you guys could be using prosperity to help others because you come into some kind of finances here with the Six of Pentacles. And let me just go back and double check that. Giving and receiving, Six of Pentacles, giving or receiving help for loans or debt. It could be giving or receiving help or it could be loans or debt, but it could be generosity. If somebody's giving to you or you're giving to somebody, if you have it to give any way you put it, there's some equal, there's something. If you have it, you're giving it. If you don't have it, you're going to give it because somebody's going to be generous to you or something like that. Let me go over the signs here for the moon. I'm showing Pisces. Now this one is always Hold on. we have the world card all the reverses scorpio taurus leo aquarius scorpio taurus leo aquarius any one of these signs here capricorn taurus virgo this is under sagittarius's line we have taurus we have the page of swords reverse for you guys you guys are under heavy surveillance so you have people looking Stalking, or this could be your energy. You could be looking and stalking and carrying on, right? The thing is, in this relationship, Taurus, with Sagittarius, you never know where you stand. I don't know where I stand with you. I don't know if you are an upstanding citizen. I don't know if you're a liar or a scam or a thief. I don't know if you're gossiping. The cards say that this person is gossiping and staring at you. And the cards also say that this person, Sagittarius, keeps you guessing. You never fully get the truth out of Sagittarius. All right? As a matter of fact... The cards are saying here that you, Taurus, or whoever this is, because I feel like these are your feelings about Sagittarius. So I don't want to just keep putting it over there. I'm going to read it, Taurus, as your line. There's a possibility that you give off this vibe that people never know where they stand with you. Am I in good standing with you? Am I not? You could be a liar. You could be a scammer. You could be a thief. You could be a gossip. You could be one that omits information, meaning I don't tell the whole truth. I don't tell it all. I don't tell all the little nitty gritty details which just like a tarot card 
can change the whole story or outcome of one's life with a reversal. If I turn this card around, this world card, that means, you know, everything. it's a completely different story. There will be some things. It just tells me that light has come earlier, but there was some suffering here. Things had to get out of place for Sagittarius upside down. Stuff had to come out in order for them to move because they sat in this place where they knew they should have addressed something and they did not. I believe that's with a Pisces or anybody that I called off here. If there's an issue here, somebody, it could be a Pisces is hiding something from you, Sagittarius, or a Pisces could be hiding from somebody, any on this list here with the world. Again, they could be hiding something from a Scorpio. They could be hiding, this Pisces could be hiding something from a friend who's a Taurus. Right? We also see Leo comes up here too. So a Pisces could be hiding something from a Leo. A Pisces could be hiding something from, what else did I know? Aquarius. All right, so Pisces is, is pretty much, you know, hiding it from everybody if this is a Pisces or it's you, Sag, you're hiding this. Whatever that means to you. Let's go over to the next one. Heavy surveillance for Taurus. I'm um, coming up with your energy. It says that there's heavy surveillance. Either somebody's watching you or you're watching them. Now, the cards also say here that there's something about your stability not being in place here, Taurus. For some of you guys, not all of you, for some of you, and this is just particular to this read, I do have a playlist. I think I have a Taurus playlist. I don't know, whatever. Go check my playlist. Like, everybody's lined up. They have their own. Every If you go to, go to any relationship, they're all stacked into one. I usually, they're pretty decent. You know, I know where they are. They're under the playlist for couples. So just pick your couple or whatever. <laughs> so it's there. But heavy surveillance. But with you guys, it's showing that there's something with the finances. Somebody's sponging off of others. Now, for Sagittarius, it does say that you're over-dependent on a mentor. But this person over here, Taurus, it says that you're having trouble getting it together too. You're on people's couches. This is what it's saying for this particular Taurus in this read. Or this could be Taurus's feelings towards Sagittarius who can't quite get it together. I don't know, but there's heavy surveillance. Now, this heavy surveillance does come with a big injustice. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Libra. This is a justice system. Some of you guys feel like you've been treated unfairly. I have not been treated fairly in this situation having to do with legal matters. Some of you guys are coming across as feeling angry, volatile. For some of you guys, if, and I want to be very specific, and let me just highlight this so I can make sure you understand it. I really still, you. I love them. Don't you, aren't the colors just pretty? Like, you see that? Oh, it's so cute. It's like creatively pretty. Anyway. All right. So, okay. This scenario here. Some of you guys are going to have delays in legal matters. Or you're going to experience some unfairness in a situation. Right? Delays in legal matters or unfairness in some situation. You feel angry, hostile. Those are the feelings that come across. It also goes on to say that if you are the person in power under the justice card, so I want to go back. Justice card reverse tells us that there are delays in legal matters. It tells us there are delays or unfairness in some legal matter, unfairness in some legal matter or situation. The second piece to it is you could feel, and this is under Taurus's line, you could feel angry or hostile if the person in power if you're the person in power you could possibly be angry about something the cards say here that if you are in power because you're angry you've been given out unduly punishment this could be a Libra unduly punishment that's if you're the big shot here now if you're a little guy it says, if powerless, listen, if you have two powerful people and one's got something over the other one's head, you're still, you still got two people in power. But it does go on to say, if you are the person in the scenario who feels powerless, then you have the festering resentment. The cards are also saying here, there's something about extreme moods for this Libra energy that comes up for Taurus. Taurus, some of you guys could be having extreme moods. You yell when you yell, you cry when you cry. And then there's this in-between rest area. So we do see that energy. Also, there is the Queen of Wands here. This is you. It says, Taurus, that you are socially prominent. 
this is where it comes into saying that you're probably a socially prominent woman or this person in the justice system is socially prominent. Leo Aquarius Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, it could be. You guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Libra Aquarius and Gemini. It kind of points out Libra. But then we have this Queen of Wands energy. All right. So it does talk about you guys being socially prominent. That means I guess you have access to a lot of people. For some of you guys socially prominent, you could hold a big position. For some of you guys, you are the head of a business, a social organization that has to do with philanthropy. Or it says you could be a political figure. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, justice system reversed. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Common energy between you guys. The four cups here. So this is a feeling of feeling dissatisfied. I don't want to be status quo anymore. I'm not getting what I need. I don't feel like I'm getting what I deserve. This is you feeling the monotony of a situation. For some of you guys, this could have been a new relationship. So it says that there's some monotony here. The newness has worn off. The romance is over. That's what it says. I don't see too much love here. No, I don't. Yeah, so the romance is over. Now, I don't know if the romance is... For some of you guys, it could be some connection had. I don't know why I feel like this could be two guys. I feel like this could be... I don't know. I, well, there's a woman here, so... Whatever, just take it how it resonates and just, you know. I feel like there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that came in between this connection, but it just says that the newness wear, wore off. That's what the Four of uh, Cups is, newness wearing off. I don't feel, I don't feel as good as I did before. And in some cases, this relationship could have been just based on passion, and it did say passion ignited, right? Let me refer back to card number one. It was some passion ignited, and it looks like it burned out, whatever looks like it burned out fast now either somebody got pregnant or somebody was hiding a pregnancy Sagittarius is a possibility there's somebody that could have been hiding a pregnancy here hiding something something about you being thrown out of balance out of whack I feel like something from the past hit you that's what happened here All right, something may have come out whatever this is about but the cards the common energy is both the withdrawn from the situation it proves it here where you guys, there's somebody going on a retreat and somebody taking off. Somebody not feeling like they can gain balance in a situation. The first card up was, let me see for Taurus. Mental conflict, emotional withdrawal. So you started withdrawing at the third card. Once you realized there was something wrong with this connection, you might have been bored. And for some of you guys, another two. It's like I didn't get the foundation or achievement that I wanted in a relationship. Emotional loss. Hold on. Where did yours pop up? Hold on. All right. You're, you know what's really funny? You guys, third card in. Both you guys decided it's a wrap. You got the six where it said moving on, and the other one was uh, what emotional loss. Yep. So the third card in. Both you guys had this monotony, and you're like, yeah, my passion is gone, or something like that. All right. Let's get rid of these. I'm going to move on to love. Because I don't see love here. The only thing I do see really is some kind of sadness. So let me pull my love cards really quick. Where are my traditional ones? I don't really want to use these other ones over here. But, but I will. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't want to use these. But uh, I don't have another one. I don't know where they are. Watch. Wait. Where? where? Watch as soon as I turn my back, right? They pop up, but they're not now. So let's take a look and see what's going on with love for this couple. 24, 11. Sagittarius, tell me what's going on with you. Sagittarius, give me your story, please, in this relationship with Taurus. Give me the love story, please. Give me the story. Healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. Your romance, there's some healing connection coming in. It does say that you guys want to go on some sort of a, a retreat with a healing connection. We also have here forgiveness. It does come up a couple of times that there's an issue with forgiveness, Sagittarius, something that you guys are not forgiving. All right, and, and I guess in this relationship, 
or this could be the past because it does rough around. I don't forgive somebody because this is somebody from the past that you guys are not forgiving because I feel like this is a new person. Taurus is a new person. And I think the spark may have run out. It says burn, burning desire. Burning desire. You had uh, passion ignited at first and then it went out. So here it goes out again. <laughs> Alright. It goes out again. Consistent all three sets. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna shuffle so I can get this other. Now tell me for Taurus, please. Give me Taurus's story, please. Oops, for love. Hold on. Taurus's story for love, please. Oops. <sighs> Taurus's story for love, please. Disguise. Yep, somebody's not, somebody's wearing a false mask. Let's see. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. There's something being hidden by Taurus. Taurus is, there's something in it, and it backs it up also because the justice system comes up reverse. It suggests that there's some deceit, dishonesty, somebody not being treated fairly in a situation. Something is not transparent. Tease. The energy is fun and lighthearted, but uncertain. Second card in. I'm curious. What's the third one? Disguise, a tease, signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. Huh. What is the universe saying? Hold on. That this is a rendezvous. Appropriate getaway for two is calling you. There's some sort of an appropriate getaway where you get to wear costumes. Somebody's in disguise. Give me one more for Sagittarius, please. Tell me about this burning desire to friend zoned. Okay. Now, let's be clear. Sagittarius came across something with you, Taurus, that they found morally questionable. Like, they weren't necessarily comfortable with the hit behaviors that they saw going on with the masks, right? Where people were disguised up, teasing folks. Signs and clues that something wasn't right. There's signs of caution in you that you were going to lose a person. And there's something about a rendezvous. Either this relationship was going to be a rendezvous or something happened in the, oh, honest communication. It goes on to confirm that there's been a lie told or something omitted. Somebody didn't say everything that they were supposed to say. And that's probably why they landed in the justice system. This energy is coming up under you, Taurus. Taurus, you could be dealing directly with a Libra who is on you for something. Uh, natural evolution, it just goes on to back up that Sagittarius did friend, friend zone this person for immoral behavior. That's what it says. It's like, I ain't rocking with you, especially not romantically. So the passion went out and it looks like it could be because of something that Taurus omitted. And some, this is something that's being hidden, information not being disclosed. But some of you guys, you have a Taurus out there because firm foundations is, they might be presenting themselves one way. But I don't want to say this is monetary, but it says foundation and achievements. So I, this might be more creative pursuits or something like that. A foundation, something that makes them firm. What does foundation to me that is firm equates to one balance, having a place to stay, being able to, I don't know, run a business because we do have, we have a Libra that shows, you know what I mean? Run a business, be an organizational head, something like that. Some of you guys have presented yourselves as being a little bit more stable than you are. And it's probably because you knew that this was going to be temporary for some of you guys. Something about temporary. Something where both you guys knew that this wasn't going to last. This might have been a rendezvous. I don't know why I got some. I don't know why I thought I saw something about. See, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. I'm not going there. All right. So that's what we have there. I'm going to get a conversation. I'm going to take these away. I'm going to get a conversation from you guys on a clean board when I do it. Now, I did go over the cards. I did love. So I just want to point something out. Let me do these and then I'll go there. I'll go there after. Let me get a conversation. This conversation, I have decided that I'm not going to do the typical. I might. I might. But for now, I want to go with something else. Hold on. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. These are the more, I don't know, because I don't get love here. I feel like this is something having to do with, I don't know, hidden. Something is hidden. The reality, a moral crisis being hidden. Something coming out. Unwanted changes. 
unseen problems. Oh, this is something you knew about. You knew. However, you didn't want it to come out. Equal give and take. Somebody could have paid some money to cover something up. As a matter of fact, we'll get into that. Give me a conversation, please. Tell me what Sagittarius... What would Sagittarius uh, say to Taurus, please? Betrayal. First card out, we're tripped betrayal. It says here that this person, Sagittarius, is questioning Taurus's moral behavior. And they found that it is immoral, according to whatever, whatever it is they believe. Now, let me tell you something. If somebody who's dirty says that you dirty, that's crazy, right? Oof. All right, so betrayal right off the bat. They said you cheat and wonder. What else we got? Give me one more, please. Oh, okay. We have, will you marry me? I opted not. I'm not going to marry you. I'm not marrying you. You betrayed me. So this isn't going any further. As a matter of fact, I friend zoned you. Give me one more, please. You hurt me. Sagittarius is like, yo, you betrayed me. I was going to marry you. But you hurt me. Give me one more, please. One more. Wow. Yeah, hold on. Then it says, commit to me. Betrayal, will you marry me? I still feel like you have a Sagittarius. Some of you guys might be still dealing with a Sagittarius on and off because it says you hurt me, commit to me. Now, if it goes from you hurt me to commit to me, that suggests that there's still some feelings that... You betrayed me and I'm not marrying you. You hurt me, but then it's commit to me. So to me, it suggests that somebody's still going back and forth. One more. And this person's questioning, do we even fit together? Right. So Sagittarius, it just confirms everything there. Hold on, let me just make sure I get this right. Betrayal. Will you marry me? You hurt me commit to me we don't fit together <laughs> all right let me see some give me a conversation please Hold on, let me... that's so annoying oh my goodness oh give me um that's my fault but i gotta see i need the details so i want to know Okay. Uh, Taurus, what do you have to say? How many did I pull? Five. Taurus, what do you have to say to Sagittarius, please? What do you have to say? I know I messed up. Yo, these cards are... That's crazy. Taurus admits it. Listen, I was immoral. I messed up. I did. I messed up. I want you in my arms. I'm not sure if I want you in my arms. You have a Taurus who wasn't sure about you, Sagittarius. Give me one more, please. I can fly. I can't fly. Oh, somebody might have lied and said they were a pilot. <laughs> Sorry, goodness. It's true. You got all types of liars out here. They all lie about everything. I mean, whew, do they lie. Give me one more, please. So this person is saying they can fly. They probably can't. You complete me. I don't know if you complete me. You do not complete me. Give me one more. But they do say I know I messed up. We don't fit together. Oh, wait. I think I did them the wrong way. Whatever. I'm lost. That's obvious. So you have a Taurus who's lost. They haven't found their foundation. I know that they're sponging off others. But, again... You know, you're disconnected from the world. You have a, fa a, a, a failure of nerve to make some kind of a move, Sagittarius. But it also says you are over-dependent on a mentor. So it shows that you're doubting your own instinct. So we have you over-dependent on some mentor. This doesn't mean it's an older person. It's just somebody that you rely on for information. It could be a good source, right? So over-dependence. But if we look at it, we move over and then we have a Taurus here who's sponging or family members or on couches, couches or whatever, right? So I feel like I'm looking at two people who are unstable. And I feel like that's why 
And I just feel like that's why we have two people that are unstable, but we have somebody here. The Sagittarius is not telling you the whole truth about a matter. They're not telling you the whole truth about a Pisces. They're not telling you this person comes across, no offense. This person seems like, I feel like they got hurt in this scenario, but I don't want to negate the fact that they are sneaky also. There's something that they know, but they don't want it to come out. There's something here with giving and receiving. My world is upside down. I went into spirituality, but I might be getting, giving or receiving something like that. Then you have that four cups. Give me the common energy between these two, please. Conversation. All right, let's see. I am lost in you. I think you guys still have some strange. I'm lost in you. Commit to me now. I want you in my arms right now. Even when we look at this line, the common energy is I am lost in you. I think you guys both think about each other, but I feel like Sagittarius wanted more of a commitment. Sagittarius wanted more of a commitment, but they weren't telling the truth about what was going on with this Pisces over here. As a matter of fact, there was something that they were hiding from those four signs that I called out. The Leo, the Aquarius, the Scorpio, and the Taurus. Could it be a couple of Tauruses involved here? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Your world could have been turned upside down by some Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It just keeps going back to you. But you admit here, you admit it openly, Taurus, that you did some things that were wrong. Listen, somebody, like I said, somebody could have lied and said they were a pilot. Like, hey, you're going to fly me out. And this person either can't because they ain't got it, or they lied and said they were a pilot. Or they just said, yeah, I can fly. Somebody could say that they have more power or influence than they actually have something like that possible right all right let's go let me just go back and advise you guys what i do have so if we were to look at crime here let me use this if we were to take a look at crime we have the moon card that suggests that something something's hidden something you know what it is, but you don't want to admit it. You don't want it to come out. Something like that. The funny thing is, if I take a look at this and I'm looking at crime, there's a possibility that some of you guys, because it does say something about heavy surveillance. This is voyeurism. The world card reverse suggests that you could be guilty. If any crime is involved with it, it, it would be cyber crime. The world is reversed. Accused of cyber crime. If six of pentacles is a crime, in some cases, a lot of people don't pick this up as a crime card. However, it does suggest that a possible crime or action has taken place. Parentheses. This person will confess accidentally, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. In some cases, without realizing it. It also says that the Six of Pentacles, if it is a crime, it was a successful crime. I successfully gathered these funds. I successfully pulled the money out of the account. I successfully mirrored the account and redirected the funds to what I called it with all the help, right? It could have been a Pisces helping. This is a gang of people involved here with pulling something off if it's crime. Let's take a look at this. Now, if we were to go and take a look at, let's see, what's first here? The Page of Swords reverse comes up. If this is crime, this is going to speak to mischief. This is somebody doing things that are bad. It speaks to gossip. And I went over that earlier. But this person is also the master manipulator, it says Taurus is. Master manipulator, if this is crime. This person keeps you guessing with misinformation. I went over that earlier. This is deception. But it says possibility of deception right it does say that you guys want to be very mindful of a paperwork that you may have signed with a libra aquarius or a gemini if you haven't signed with a taurus because there's something with the contract and i want to be clear it says something about beware of subtle lies in the paperwork check the paperwork very clearly subtle lies heavy surveillance this person is young attractive confident this person is charming this person is eager they'll do what you want them to do 
the reason why they're doing this is there's insecurity at the root of it all. So Taurus, either you're insecure at the root or there's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini who is insecure at the root. As a matter of fact, this person is so susceptible to crime that they'll do it because they're eager. I'm eager. I want to do this. So this somehow lands this person, Taurus or Libra, into the justice system where Taurus, I'm getting this feeling that you have to answer some questions to a Libra. And it looks like whatever you did, this Libra is not really playing around with you. This Libra is so upset with you, whatever this is about, that they, if they don't pray, can give you, I don't want to say unjust, it's, it's un, they say it's unduly it's severe punishment. Severe punishment. I will grant you severe punishment for whatever it is you did. Now, it does say something about this line or this person could be a girl. Possible, not for everybody. Could be female tendencies, whatever, whatever. All right, so we see that. Is there anything else I need to point out? So the justice system, if this were medical, it suggests that this Libra here or this Taurus might have some back issues, poor renal function, and poor metabolism. The Queen of Wands... Again, it says lack of self-assurance if this is a crime. And it says you do not show your true nature. Okay. Let me go back and pull these. And then I'll pull crime. Where am I? 41 minutes? Okay. I'm going to take a look at some other scenarios too. I'm just going to at the end of the read if I have time. But I think you guys got the point there. I think I went over those. This is highly suggesting that there's a Taurus or a Libra. A Libra. If it's an air sign, I feel like it's a Libra possibly. But there's also this Leo, this Aries Leo Sag in here too. Something having to do with finances with a Capricorn, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. There is something with finances here. Um, if Let's just take a look at it before I... If we were to go into the, 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 you know, the nonsense... We're going to say that there's a possibility if there were any shadiness, being that one to crime or whatever. If there were any shadiness, somebody could have gave some money, slipped some money out of their account, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and gave it to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a Libra that could be in trouble for cyber stalkings. There's something about cyber crime, stealing money, redirecting funds. But the Sagittarius didn't tell what they were doing. Right, so I'm telling you what you know what they were doing. They were hiding the fact that they're being accused of a cyber crime, and that there was money being redirected. Meaning they were feeding and somebody was feeding them, and they were feeding you, or however it went. But I feel like this is this is a crime side of it. When we look at love for Sagittarius, I felt like they had deep emotions, but I feel like Taurus wasn't necessarily into it. Now, if I were to go back and take a look at this. There's a lot of gossiping. So you got Taurus out saying their peace and gossiping and carrying on in this scenario. Or there's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini that is gossiping about this Taurus. They're saying all types of nonsense about you or whatever. But any way you put it, it lands somebody in the legal system. Could be slander. That could be why you're in the legal system because of slander. Saying stuff you shouldn't have said. Or some of you guys could be dealing with the justice system where you have to face a Libra. And this Libra is ready to go. Like... They look like they're ready to go. Oh, I wouldn't play with them. But we also have here, this person is socially prominent. So either this person in the justice system is socially prominent because of the head of a business. Or Taurus, you're the head of a business and there's a Libra that's pissed at you. About something that, something that you did. Something that you hid about some people and money. The result is dissatisfied. Both withdrawn emotions from this. I feel like you guys may have separated. Why? Because the love ran out or the money ran out. Business or love. Playing got dirty. Show me what I need to know under... Uh, why is this moon reversed here? Why? Something coming to light. Something I don't want to come to light. There's domestic abuse out there that we don't want to come out. I don't want you to know that I was knocking folks out. I don't want you to know that I was putting my hand through the glass. See, it appears that this person's putting a hand through the glass, but you don't see the person on the other side. Now, maybe they knock somebody out right through the glass. You got some bad mofos that'll do that. <laughs> or, because it does say domestic abuse. 
there's a possibility they beat up their person and then knock the glass out. But it is reversed. Somebody could have been accused of domestic violence. They're accusing me of beating you. It comes out reversed. But it's something that I don't want. I don't want the accusation to come out. Teenage predator. Predator. I'm being accused of being a teenage predator. I go after young girls. School girls. Take a look at that. This person... This predator, whether it be a girl or a boy, this person is in school. There's a book bag here. We clearly know that this person is in a school. Teenage predator. Now, either there's somebody holding their pocketbook, looking at the kids, or this is a kid with some new age book bag that looks like a pocketbook. Somebody's looking at a kid. I don't want people to know that I'm being accused of a cyber crime teenage predator predator domestic teen you better shut up you better not say nothing pisces you better shut up Ooh, give me more a criminal i don't want people to know that i have a criminal past i don't want people to know that my banking account what i'm giving you how i'm paying you to take care of all of this is being driven from somebody else's account as a matter of fact several different accounts i don't want this to get out i don't Give me more, please. Tell me what's going on with this Taurus over here. Because they're gossiping about this. They're saying, oh, yeah, this one's whooping. What they're hiding from you is, let me tell you. Let me tell you what they're hiding. Yo, he be, he be knocking it out. Da -da 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 -da. Man, she young. She mad young. And top it all off. Yo, this dude, his money ain't right. Money dirty. It's dirty. Wash it in a system you can't wash it in no more. It's global. All right. Give me more for Taurus, please. Give me more. So you don't want it to come out that you're chasing, you know, young people, whether it be boys, girls, whatever. I mean, let's look at the newspaper. It is, unfortunately, and I want to say this publicly, unfortunately, you got a lot of teachers out here that find the little kids attractive. I don't know why. I ain't never looked at no, I don't understand that. I don't understand what makes you think you can sit up in a school, you're, you, you, you're a leader in a classroom. If you can't compartmentalize, then you need to get out that job. That's not for you. Clearly. Now, if you got any of these feelings going on, I wouldn't be applying for school jobs and I wouldn't be showing up to school fences. Because people ain't playing that crap no more. I'm just saying. <sighs> Sorry to fuss. <clears throat> but you wouldn't show up if I didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. As far as I know, people don't show up to hear me anyway. But it's, it's really funny that people actually... I People actually know who I am. Not like publicly or anything like that. But, you know, you can tell. So the views, again, just don't match what's... You know, you know what I'm saying, you two. You got... You know, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. Taurus, please, what's up with crime? Why are you gossiping and carrying on? And what's up with the injustice? What you, what's up with you? If this is crime, since you're, this one, this one over here is a goody two shoes, right? The one is cheating and carrying on and the one that Sagittarius had the friend zone. All right, let's go. What do we have? Tell me, please, crime. I'm a taker. What is it that you're taking? Oh, okay, you, you're a thief. Now, remember, under Taurus's line, nobody could determine what Taurus is. Are you a liar, scammer, thief? It says you're a taker, so you take stuff. You're a thief, right? I take it. Give me more, please. I take what I want. Also, it says here, start a revolution. Stop hating your body. I love my body. What are you talking about? I'm a taker. Start a revolution. Stop hating your body. I'm a taker. I'm a taker. I love my body. Give me one more, please. This sounds very narcissistic. I don't know yet. Let me not judge. Fixated. You guys could be fixated. I know this lady. I just, I forget her name. Is that lady? No. no. I should know her, but listen, that dress is just, oh my goodness. You see the flowers? Oh, lovely. Anyway. I know her. I just, anyway, fixated, right? So you guys are, it feels like Taurus, you're fixated on taking something. 
there's something about your body that you don't like. I don't like this part of myself. I don't like, I don't know. Maybe you don't like your tummy. Maybe you don't like your legs. Did that? Oh, gosh. Hold on, guys. Oh, jeez. Hold on. You guys are kidding me. I am not going. Hold on, guys. My battery died. Hold on. Hold on, let me go around the other way. Hold on, guys. Sorry guys, hold on. Let me see if it. Hang on guys, give me a sec. must be dead dead hold on it's dead oh no it's not i got it. all right i got it i was like i know it's plugged up hold on guys <clears throat> i apologize for that i start again at 5137 all right so now i gotta pick i'm back i'm back youtube i'm back i gotta pick these cards up because apparently they fell and I need to figure out, because there's something here about you being fixated. Something that I don't like about my body. Taurus is saying that there's something that you don't like about yourself. Some of you guys may have... Whatever. There's something that you don't like about yourself. Isn't that normal? Well, let's go on and see what else this is about. I don't necessarily... I do see that you're a taker, so you could... Safety. Fixated on safety? Some of you guys are fixated on being safe. Some of you guys could be fixated be on being safe by water. Fixated. This is Taurus, you're a fixed sign. I'm fixated in taking something, but I'm uncomfortable with my body. That's not necessarily crying for me. That's more insecurity, and it does say the root is insecurity. I know this lady. I just forget her name. I see her all the time. I think she's a singer. Okay. And look at that. The pink flower. That is not gonna lie. I just love flowers, so I always see flowers. Alright, um, give me give me what's up with this four cups here. Show me what's going on with this, please. Incest. There's something having to do with this energy. Some of you guys could be related to each other. There's something with incest. Something, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that shows up. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Pisces. Incest. With a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini. Somebody has sex with a relative. I hate to say it like that, but it is. But is it something about incest? That could be why we have a Taurus that feels insecure about their body. It also falls between teenage predator and stop hating your body. Somebody got touched by maybe a family member. This is some kind of sexual abuse here, incest. It happened as a teenager, incest, and now I don't like my body, and now this is in a legal system. I, fall, I feel like this falls under Taurus. You have Sagittarius hiding the fact that they may have been accused of not only domestic abuse, this is what they don't want to get out, but there's also some watching of a teenager, cyber, online, or some of you guys could be showing up at schools. Give me more under incest. 
protection. There was no protection used during this incest or this sexual whatever happened here. Give me more with somebody that you're fixated on. Give me more. Somebody's fixated on a relative. This person's a gambler. Mm hmm. So you have somebody who was taking a gamble with somebody they were fixated on, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could have been fixated on an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could have been a Sagittarius who was fixated on this person. This person didn't use any protection. This person was fixated on safety. We have Taurus in this scenario. I was fixated on being safe. I wanted to be safe. Safety. Fixated safety. I don't want to use any protection. I'm a gambler. But I'm fixated on safety this could have been with a relative or you guys could have had a cancer pisces scorpio relative that knew about this oh my goodness Whew. all right let me pull some more all right so i just want to make i wanted cards that were a little bit more clear they didn't they didn't mix as much um they don't mix as much conspiracy theory into love if you will i don't want to look at it that way because i mean i don't but that's what it is i think that they were more i think they clearly define if we were looking for crimes of passion or looking at love or something like that now i'm gonna go ahead and pull the other cards here this gets into the real crime and then we're done i'm out of here i'll get out your hair i hope you got something out of this read so far i'm going into criminal activity now there's a possibility that even with this criminal activity, even though it has a little more um, focused on criminal behavior, I still feel like there's a lot of love and passion that shows up in these cards. So it's a possibility some things will come up again. Sagittarius, if this is crime, tell me what it is, please. Oh, one fell. Mm, I'm going to take them. This is the wrong... No, it's not the wrong card. There's some sort of... Natural disaster. It's orchestrated disaster. Somebody was planning a kidnapping. Natural disaster reverse is a failed kidnapping. Somebody's going to say they were kidnapped by aliens. Somebody said somebody was kidnapped by aliens or kidnapped or somebody stole them. This is a kid, I think. By a I don't know who would say aliens. But, you know, let, let's, if we look at this a little closer, what is an alien? It's something that is foreign to a group of people, right? So they, and which I find derogatory, illegal alien. I don't like that. I, find, I think I've said that publicly a few times, but I find it derogatory. I mean, we all say derogatory stuff all the time, but that's to me is like, that's extreme. I don't like that. So I feel like you, you said somebody was kidnapped by Aliens. Now, who are these aliens? Are these aliens the folks that are come up in the books that we read? Those aliens or who? You said somebody kidnapped somebody. You call, you refer to them as aliens. So whatever that. This person that you planned this kidnapping for that you said was abducted or kidnapped by aliens is actually alive. Look at that. Very specific arms very specific kidnapping you tried to hide it and it's coming out an orchestrated natural disaster what is hidden for Sagittarius I don't want you to know this that there's a kidnapping that I'm being accused of or being looked into about I told him aliens did it the Muppets did it this person is actually alive but hidden so you guys went far. You must have orchestrated documents and everything else. You must have done something. That's why we got those folks checking them documents. Forgery. The funny thing is, because things weren't so advanced in some years, it's easy to spot fakes, fake organizations, fake adoptions, kidnappings, whatever. These are very specific people being kidnapped for a very specific reason. So Sagittarius is hiding that and it's coming out. They could have kidnapped the Pisces. They could have kidnapped a... As a matter of fact, I'm thinking... What I don't want you guys to know, Sagittarius says, what I don't want you to know is I kidnapped a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, and an Aquarius, or they were in on it, and I had to pay them. Can you see that? I had to pay them. 
All right, let's see. If this is crime under Taurus, because Taurus had, you know, I, I feel like Taurus, the bottom line is Taurus, something may have happened to Taurus when they were younger or little or at the schoolhouse or whatever, with or incest. And it looks like that's part of why they can't commit or they have some issues at the root. But this one is straight trying to cover stuff up. Give me more. Tell me what's up with Taurus crime. I know that you are a heavy surveillance and staring and carrying on. What else do you have? You're having an affair. Look at that. So this Taurus is probably married, having an affair, or looking to heavy surveillance. Hmm. Give me more. An investigation. Taurus, your affair is being investigated. Maybe you don't know it or you don't want anybody to know that there's an, an investigation. Maybe your wife doesn't know that there you being investigated for fraud. Some of you guys are questioning whether or not you're being investigated for fraud. You do come up as a taker and now you're in a legal system for a fraud, forgery, fake money, fake money. You know, the game show money, the stuff that you get in the box, fraud. Like it's like trying to use one of those at a store, a real one. Give me more for Taurus, please, since you're the taker. Private property. Taurus, did you steal property from somebody? Huh? Who are you steal property from? Burial. Yep. You guys tried to cover up too. Oh, okay. <clears throat> some, some of you guys have somebody buried on private property that you're not supposed to know about. There's some investigation being done and there's a body on a private property. It's fraud. There's somebody who's in a legal system who has a something buried on their property and you're not supposed to know it. There's somebody who has an open grave on their property and you do know it, but they're hiding something else in there too. What is the common energy between these two? Where'd my Pisces card go? Where'd it go? I don't know what happened to it. All probably fell on the ground when I was running around. Give me common energy between these guys when it comes to crime. What is common? happy this was an affair remember it was one of those quick ones that happened and then it didn't happen like that hold on so there was an affair with the Pisces there was orchestrated kidnapping but the line is Sagittarius you're hiding um, a disaster that was orchestrated it says something about happy neighborhood Happy neighborhood. Natural just somebody is hiding a orchestrated disaster in the neighborhood. So that's when they're gonna have the people pull up to your house and do some work on the street during recording time. And there's something where you don't want legal proceedings to show. There's some legal proceedings that are gonna prove that you guys had an affair with the Pisces. That's gonna be something that's gonna come out. There's an affair being had with the Pisces, and you do not want legal proceedings. I want to shut this up because if if it gets out, it's going to show that I had an affair. Legal proceedings will show that I had an affair. They're going to place me in a neighborhood. It's going to show that something was orchestrated. It does say happy, though. That's crazy. Somebody was happy about an affair? And somebody was gossiping about it. Huh. Anyway, I think that might be it. I think that's it. I'm gonna go because I, I I think I'm running out. Do I have any other nonsense I wanna run to you guys? I don't think so. It says, no, I like those cards. I think they're a very smooth transition over into love. Is there anything else? Let me just pull one of these. I'm gonna pull a couple of places just in case. But there is a there is a. It says somebody actually did get kidnapped. Aliens did not do it. Not the aliens that we envision on television, so I'm not sure what they mean by that. I think they're saying, I think a teacher, look at that, that a mother, somebody's a teacher. And it does talk about a teacher by a fence. There's a teacher by a fence, remember that? Mercury, roulette. Mercury, roulette, pumpkin, teacher. Could be a teacher named pumpkin, pumpkin, or teacher. Mercury, roulette. Somebody's playing roulette. These cards, you might have a gambling teacher. These cards do reference gambling. Somebody with a bow. 
or a degree. So there could be somebody with a degree who wears a bow, who's a teacher. Mouth, reverse. Tap. Whatever that means. Teacher, bow, mouth. Mouth came out reverse. Antarctica, somebody could be in Antarctica. Aztec, maple. Antarctica, thumb. Mm. Mouth, thumb. Maple, Aztec. Knight. That could be a last name, pie. Something with a pie. A knight and a pie. That did come out reverse, by the way. But dog, somebody might have a dog. A limousine. The limousine came out reverse in Australia. A limousine in Australia. A glove. Something about a glove. A stream. Somebody put, there's a glove inside of a stream. Somebody threw gloves in a stream. You might find gloves in a stream or a glove. Somebody's shadow side. Somebody's not dealing with their shadow side. I think that's Sin Tower. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. C E N T A U R. I have to look that up because I don't know what that is. Shadow. Scientists. Uh -huh. A scientist might be shadowing somebody. Ghost. This scientist is shadowing somebody quietly. Or there's a scientist that uh, ghosted you. Boot. This scientist could have gave you the boot too. Give me one more. We see Barry. That could be a last name, Soldier. We have a teacher roulette. We have a teacher with a bow, something with the mouth, something with the thumb. Excuse me. Aztec, knight, dog. Roulette. That does speak to gambling, which came up earlier. We also have the taker, a property, Taurus. Australia, glove, stream, stream was in the back of it, shadow, scientist, I feel like a, sh a scientist is shadowing you or something. Now, shadow, scientist, ghost, soldier. I feel like this points out a couple of people looking at you guys, there's a scientist who is shadowing you. What is it to shadow? That is to follow you. You could have been ghosted by a soldier or a soldier could be following you in secret. Or you could be uh, being told to ghost a soldier. I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope you got something out of it. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Wait, did I get everything? I think I did. Yeah, I, I, I told y'all about the gossip and the survey up and somebody and this Taurus is lying about an affair and lying about the information that they didn't tell. They didn't tell that they was having a, an affair on the same street and it was happily. As a matter of fact, this Sagittarius was like, listen, so I could stay, right? This could have been with, the, I don't know. This could have been with, my, well, so I could stay, right? I'm going to say that there was a disaster that happened. It's a natural disaster. It snowed, it rained. Maybe I'm out of town or something like that. And I say something went down. You can't prove it, but you really can these days. There's no need to even lie about the weather no more. Don't bother. Oh, there's something about a well. And a well in Hollywood. Do you guys got a... Wait, I was in Hollywood. I don't remember a well. Anyway, whatever. I'm Because I'm thinking too. But yeah. Hollywood comes up. Some of you guys could be in a public eye. Whatever that's about, whether that's good or bad. But if you're in a public eye, there's an affair that's going to come out. The stories are going to be told that you were in some neighborhood. You were in a neighborhood where you told whoever, you probably you told somebody, probably a Pisces, that there was a natural disaster so I couldn't come home. And you went over to Taurus's because it says you were happily in your neighborhood having an affair and you hope it don't come out in legal proceedings because there's an investigation on you for fraud. The fraud is stolen property and something's buried on this property. You're in the legal system dealing with a Libra who will do you in. <clears throat> Whatever you did, you in trouble. This one will give it to you if the person in power. That person is going to give it to you. If you are the one who is powerless, then you feel like you're being treated unfairly. Now, ain't that about a mother? 
Now, you got affairs, investigation, frauds, private property stuff where you invaded somebody's property where the signs clearly say it's private, but you came on anyway, and put something there. Yet, you want this Libra here to have mercy on you. You see the nerve? I love you guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.